welcome, wel welcome, welcome to see Sparkles Corner. Today, I'm going to play a game. Shit, let's play a game together. And you, can you push it again to stop recording? Called Immortal City Children of the Nile. Okay. We can yeah. hit play. Yeah, shut that off. You got hit play. Editor, that's if you want to make your own board and your settings. So let's look for the settings first. The settings got your brightness. I like mine really bright. Rear panel, LED, and um, we're leaving all this the same. Okay. So we're just basically low water because, you know, this is an older game. And my laptop is what it is. And let's see if I can get out of here. All right. Okay, so we're going to hit play. Okay, now we have the choice to play a campaign, to continue the game, play a scenario, learn to play low to save game. Okay, let's see if I'm going to delete my save game I've got. What I was doing. Okay. And and so I'm going to cancel out of here. All right. Now, we're going to play a campaign, and we're going to start at the first part of the campaign. Okay. Play a campaign. Okay. We Now we got a grand campaign, other campaign. Let's go with the grand campaign. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we got a choice of hard, moderate, or easy. Okay. This, since this is the first time we're playing together, let's play easy. Let's open it up. Open up. Okay. Now, we're going to read the overview. Setting, Old Kingdom, large map, easy. I love the large maps. Okay, Egypt is a vast and powerful beyond imaginings of our ancestors. Now this great nation needs a grand city to serve as its capital to assist and assist to your glory. This fertile region of the Nile is ideal for the location for a great city with ample resources and a vast floor flood plan. The perfect soil in which to grow your capital. As Nikans thrives, be sure to turn your attention outside your new city. There will be, there you will find the luxuries, resources, opportunities that inspire your fortunate citizens to praise your name with every breath. Build Egypt's new capital. For the glory of Horus. For the glory of Pharaoh. Maintain a large noble population. With at least six of their estates. Enhanced to luxury. Level large estates. Maintain 60 prestige. Okay. Now for the tips. Mined with the precious metals and stones. That are nested in the hills near Naka. All right, here we go. We're in NECAN, N-E-K-H-E-N, overview. All right, now we're going to proceed. Okay, here we go to the capital. Here we go, loading it, loading it, loading it, loading it, loading it. Yeah, it's loading. Okay, now we're going to look around. Let's look around. This is all over here. And this is, let's see what's over here. Okay. Now this side of the city looks bigger than the other city. Okay, here we go. We're going to go all the way up to here. All the way up to here. And we're going to go all the way over here. Okay, we're going to first start 
Okay, we have nothing of nobodies with 110 villages. Okay, we're going to start with small master boss. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. We want these for Pharaoh only. And if you click that and you type in Osiris, it's kind of like a good little cheat, which, hey, I like to do it. Play with Pharaoh. That way we don't have to worry about that. You right click and you go on to Pharaoh. You hit, hit enter and you type, type in O-S-I-R-I-S. Gives us a little bit of help. We'll have plenty other things to enjoy and do. It'll rather than, you know, take the long way around. Okay. All right. Now, let's not put that as a Pharaoh. Let's change that. Okay, we're going to go four, five. That's six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's change this out and make this nobles only. Let's have the pharaohs one closest. Let's have nobles only. Nobles only under these here. Oh, Cyrus, a little cheat. Doesn't affect your gameplay. All right. Nobles only. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That gives us enough for twelve nobles only. Twelve nobles. And all this is is basically saving the dudes from walking the materials up here. Nobles only. Nobles only. And we're doing the cheat. We're hitting enter. And we're typing Os uh, that we entered Osiris. Okay, now that's for the nobles. Let's go with the master boss. Let's put in Four, five, six master bars. Okay. Royal family only. That's what we want. Osiris. So they're all going to be royal families only. See? That's fine. So we've just got to type just to save on the bricks. Okay, because the nobles, it's the lower, and the regular master bar one up for the royal family. The pharaoh would want the best for the royal family. Now we're going to have large master bar for the pharaohs only. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nope. That's a pyramid. Okay. Well, we can fit five in a row here, okay? So, Osiris, Pharaoh only. We want to change all them to Pharaoh only. Make sure we've got it for Pharaoh only. Because the Pharaoh needs a place for... <coughs> his eternal eternity okay here we go now we're going to go to the water here we're up to the top we're seeing how far the water goes okay now we're going to look across for the water's edge We're looking across for the water's edge. 
Okay, here we go for the water's edge. And the first thing we need to do is build a shipwright. Okay, with this, this removes robes and plazas. This destroys land, trees, and buildings. And on this is your monuments and statues. This one is where your plazas are and your decorations and walls, granary, brickyard, and all that. Barge landing, but we don't want to build that yet until we, we need to find out where the shipyard is. Okay, shipwright. This is going to build. This place builds your yachts. And we want to scout the side. And you got to look everywhere where you can. For See, here's one right here. Okay, now with Shipwright, you can thus do that. Now, we have to build barge landings. Now, this is for to build yachts. This is for traders to come and visit. This is for traders that wants to bring meat, fish, or whatever. That's one. You need many, many traders spots. It takes a bit. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, we've so far we've got four, five, you just, I keep count of how many I build. Six. Mm. Must be more. When you see it turn right, you know you've got a good spot. Seven, eight, eight isn't enough. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like it should hit something. Fifteen. Sixteen. 
15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I want to get two more if I can find it. I do like to try to get twenty, otherwise, I'm going to just settle for eighteen. Okay, well, we're going to settle for 18. Okay. Okay, we're just going to settle for 18. And now we're going to start building. I would have liked it better. This was a huge map. But... It is what it is. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start with the palace. That's always the first thing. <coughs> okay. We're building the palace. Building, building. Building Fairy Princess. Okay. Over this side of the city. As you can see, there is farmers over here. These are the villagers hobbles. And they are over here. But now, we are going to build our palace over here. Construction has not begun yet. <laughs> there is pre peasants on the other side. Okay, well that's waiting. We're I think we're going to start with a plain plaza. Now we're going to go in here. Well, that's waiting. And we're going to put, I think, in the Greater Horus statue. And I think I want Whoops. Whoops again. Okay. I think I want four here. Okay. And I think I want four on this other side. Two three, four. One thing about the pharaoh he literally had the Egyptians, at least I, I imagine them as living in beauty 
and everything I didn't type that right okay my fingers went in the right place okay well that's being built our first layer of decorations we want a very pretty city I want it where it's going to be the capital it has to be totally gorgeous now we need to get a tree up there fancy palm trees so we're going to put two behind each of the statues We want elegance, we want beauty, we want gorgeousness. Okay, now. Now, the next thing we want to do is we need to put up a priest apartment right here. And we want it to him to educate students the first one and so we want this to be pretty but we want this we're gonna put blue and gold for the pass all right now we want to make sure our Pharaoh and his family is taken care of okay now the pharaoh will go off about his business and we're making the first row to start with Okay, we're going to go all the way to the end. And we want to remove these rows. Okay. Now the first thing we, we need to do next is we're going to start at Plaza Purple and Green. And we're going to go the other way. We're going to go down this way. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is make a house for the farmers here that these are going to be your workers three four five one two three four five okay one two three four five okay now we've got five across and five over so what we want to do is go across over like this we want to go like this we want to go right in the middle like this okay now we've got a row of five these are the farmers okay this is a start okay now for the first thing we need to do is put up common shopkeepers No, let's remove that. Okay, yeah, no, let's do it. One, two, three. We'll need four common shopkeepers. Okay, now we're going to turn on this. Sell mats. Sell baskets. Sell linen. And sell pottery. Now we're going to look for a guard post. We're going to put a guard post right there. Okay. Purple and green. We want this to grow this way. 
Okay. Now over here, our friends over here are gonna need common shopkeepers too. One, two, three, four. Now they're a brighter, fancier color. Now we wanna sell mats, sell baskets, sell linen, sell pottery. Now I'm gonna check on my pharaoh palace to make sure it's okay and we're gonna come for over here now we do we got a home for 21 farmers over here this gives you all the information and all the people graduates envoys and whatnot now this gives the educated workers. This is how many workers are available. Now over here, this says our prestige, how many tombs we've got, propaganda statues, palace exhibits, and all this other stuff. Now down here, this is where you can check your supplies. And over here, this is when you can issue an edict, but we can't at this point. And this goes to the world level, and we don't need to go there at this point. Right now, we are just waiting. For all this stuff to go. Okay, because they got to come eventually. We've got a hundred and ten villagers, and they are coming. See the little people? They are coming. They are. And see, they will start in hovels. Only certain buildings. Only, only certain buildings can we upgrade. And we've just got to gradually wait. Now we're gonna do, give them a little hand, help to get started. Mm -hmm. See, our new residents are coming. And our storekeepers are coming. See now these buildings for storekeepers do not need bricks. They're just clay, I think. <laughs> and we give the storekeepers like a helping hand to get started. I do it once, and then after that, they're basically on their own. Well, somehow my game jumped.
So now I gotta find it back. This is one thing. There we go. You can click on that and it'll take you to what you're after. Now it's no. Now, the next thing we've got to do is we have to have brick makers. We need to have brick makers. Whoops. Now, we're going to put five across. And we're going to tilt it back this way. And we're going to go... five down. So that's going to give us ten brick makers. Okay. Okay. Now these have all got to come. And see, because the people who's going to be living over there is going to need these supplies. So that's what we're getting them ready for. Osiris and Osiris. Okay. Now. Now down the end here, we're going to look for the brickyards. The brickyard like this. Okay. So we're going to put up eight brickyards and we're going to give them a hedge to get each of them started with the brickyards because we're going to be needing a lot of bricks Okay, now we're going to take and do the plaza orange across like that. Okay.
Now we need brick layers. Brick layers. We need brick layers. Now we've got plenty of brick layers. We're not going to need any more brick layers. And so let's go with orange. Everything to do with bricks is going to have the fancy orange. Okay. Let's check over by our palace. See what's going on up here. Okay, we're going to check each one of these brick layers. We're getting plenty of bricks. Plenty, plenty of bricks. Okay. See, we're getting a nice start. Okay. We will have plenty of bricks, <laughs> and we're going to need them. We're now at 2,235 bricks. It's quite quick. Yeah, the Pharaoh's 40 years old. We have one envoy. We're going to need many envoys. Envoys are the guys or the simulated being who go from our town to whatever country he's needing to negotiate for our beloved pharaoh okay okay Got bricks, got bricks, got bricks. Eventually, they'll start adding to these bricks over here, from here, and they'll empty over to here. So it's just kind of how it is.
it takes time to build a city. And you've just got to be patient. See these little sims going all over the place. See, you can see them walking. These are the little sims. Going here and there and everywhere. And there's, see, here's a group of three sims over here. And there's sims there, another group over there. Singles and groups. Oh, there's sims going around. You just got to be patient. It takes a bit of time to build. When things get a little bit more advanced, we will get a noble here. But it takes time. It's good to see people walking around in my city. Little people. Little people. Mm-hmm. They're so cute. They run around. They go pretty fast for little simulated beings. Mm hmm. And you see Sims carrying stuff, too. They're actually kind of fun to watch. They're active Sims. Okay. There's our pharaoh. See, this is our pharaoh and fancy things. And these are the people walking around. We've still got a modest res residence. Okay. Now, we need to have six luxury storekeepers. Two, three, four, five, six. We need jewelry, perfume, sandals, sculptures, furniture, and cosmetics. Only the more affluent people need these. Because in the regular people down the working section of our beautiful city, they, the luxury wear isn't needed. See, up here is what they need. See, bread, wares, health care, worship, government problems, <coughs> leisure, no security, and can't make funeral arrangements. Well, of course they can't because we don't have any priests in the city. And so that's it. We own our luxury shops. Now eventually, we will have everybody of what we need, but it takes time.
Let's see, because we're going to have this done. Okay. And that takes care of our brick makers. Every once in a while, we'll check with the brick makers and go because there's still a hundred. They're still all 200. But until we get some brick layers, it's just what we need. We have four farmers now. And they'll literally make farms. Okay. Now things are coming around. Now we're going to make one noble. And see these. Okay. Now you want to make sure your noble house is positioning themselves the way you want them to. Now we're going to go with blue and green. This is what we're going to have the roads for the residential areas. We will have them <laughs> totally beautiful. Too big. Okay. So we're going to put up some bird bass here. We need to make the place look pretty and we're doing the bling, blue and green okay so we want to do this one two okay then we're going to go this way and we want to go this way okay now we're going to come in here and have a city statue of Horus. Okay, we want to put up a servant. Okay, let's Recheck the scenario options. Okay, Horus. Okay. Horus, Horus, Horus. Okay, we've got the greatest statue of Soros. Okay. All right. A new noble is on its way. Okay. We still have no graduates, but you see. We are making progress in the city. Okay.
we're gradually see the everybody needs to go shopping so we need to make sure they have what they need Okay, furniture, everybody's going to need furniture. <laughs> okay, they have no baskets for sale. Person's linen is there weaving for linen. See, it's coming along. Your prestige is rising. And as where prestige rises, it's the more things, the more graduates you will get. Hi, honey. I looked up the data on the video capture box, and I couldn't find any old photo of me with X amount of stores on film. I think you just leave the whole card, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. David was just talking to me about what we were going to have for dinner later. Okay, we got maximum pottery. He's weaving linen. Okay. I was expecting that. Of Florida. Okay. And we got a few basket weaves for sale. was done. That isn't correct. isn't accurate. That isn't right. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Okay. A few cosmetics for, s cosmetics for sale. No furniture's been made. That'll take them a while. Okay, sculptures. We'll have to make them. Sandals. <coughs> Many pottery is for sale.
Okay. We still gotta have a modest residence for a while. And we, there is one graduate available. As soon as it gets built. See, the bricklayers now are coming in. You really don't make good progress till you have a bricklayer. They're like the workers. Well, they are the workers. No matter what it says, we're still kind of invisible. See, there's many things for sale. <coughs> we don't have to worry about worshiping gods as of yet. So, it's like it will take time to gradually build on your city. Thank you, honey. All right. So what we need is a baker, two bakers, and then we're going to need a soldier. And we have to make sure, yep, he's a city guard. So we're, we're going to have to take this. row across here then we'll put up a fancy palm tree here okay now we need a granary to store our food this is going to be the food and so once these brick layers get going We'll have all that. Okay. So, we don't want to go any further because we need brick layers here and here. And... Okay, we've got shipwright, and we have a ship ready. So we've got to keep an eye on the shipwright as well. Once we start getting food in the city, <laughs> then we can really get things moving. But you go like this, and you check. Make sure this stuff is going because we're not in a position where we can really provide food yet. So we've just got to keep an eye on what's going on in the city. I don't know if this will help once they get it built or not. Good salad. I love salads. Mm. 
most likely, I think the simulated beings. We'll get this stuff built first. Once they do, once they do, then we can start to have festivals. Okay. That is good news right there. Now we build the school. And you make sure you build a court of law. The court of law is where the pharaoh <coughs> will hold court. Which is the part we're playing. We keep an eye on the noble. And we keep an eye on the servant. <coughs> but as more and more stuff gets built, when the city progresses, that's when things will get better. See, the stores need to have stuff. This gives them a head start. <laughs> See, they're using many bricks. See, all this here is the palace's driveway. 